good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another sweet lesson for Flight in Space. Today, my friends, we're going to Tinkercad, and we're going to make a sweet glider. So, my friends, let's get cracking. All right, so first get to Tinkercad.com and just simply hit sign in and sign in with Google. Click on the Create New Design. Let's start by putting a file name. I'm going to call mine Glider and put an MDH there. Second, let's go to the grid. Right now it is set at 200 by 200. We're allowed to go larger than that, so let's type 400 and let's type 400. Notice you do have to backspace to change that and then hit update grid. Step one is to bring out a box for the fuselage. Notice we're looking at it from the front. We want to click on the thickness and we want to make it three millimeters. Let's also make it brown by clicking one of the brown colors. We want to find this white corner for the front length, and we're going to type 240. We're going to take this length right here where it's 20, and we're going to make it 15 millimeters. If we click a corner view, you can see that is the shape of a fuselage you get in a balsa glider kit. One of the ways to make your fuselage more awesome is by tapering the front end. Bring out a whole box. Use the black handle to stretch it out in the 80s. Rotate it a few degrees, 10 or 15, whatever you pick. Then bring it out to the front so that it intersects and is sloping the way you want. I'm going to adjust that angle just a little bit. And then when you've got it where you want on your glider, grab those two items. Make sure it says two shapes selected. And when you hit group, it will slice off and taper that edge for your glider. The next requirement we have is called a shark's tooth. Bring out a box. Make sure that the box is six on this side. Look at it from a corner so you can find the height. And the height, since it's also balsa, needs to be three millimeters thick. We need to slice off a piece to make the shark's tooth. Watch how cool this is. We're gonna hide the fuselage, bring out a whole box. Rotate that whole box somewhere in the 30s or 40s. You take your pick. And then when you move it into place, I'm just dragging it so that it intersects with that corner. When you select both, notice it says two shapes and group, you've got the cool little shark's tooth we need. Click show all to bring it back. Click work plane, and we want to attach this part up here on our fuselage. Click on the part we want to move and hit D, and it drops to that exact spot. Select the work plane again, click back on the blue ground, grab both shapes, and we want to align them. We want the red piece to line up with the brown piece right there. And then group them. You just made a fuselage with a shark's tooth. Real quickly, we're gonna add a tapered grip back here as well. Bring out another piece. I'm gonna do the same six millimeters so they match. Thickness, it needs to be three millimeters. And this time I'm gonna taper it this way I'm gonna bring out a box, make it quite long, hide my fuselage, do the rotate. If you don't like what you do, like I just accidentally tried to move and I stretched it, you just simply undo. I'm making sure I come all the way up to this corner. And then when I group those two items, select and group. Now when we do show all, we've got the tapered little end we just need to attach it with the work plane. Click on the part, D for drop. Set the work plane back to the ground. Select them both, click a line, click the one you care about, and boom, it is lined up, grouped, and we have just made an amazing fuselage. Look at it from a corner, click the shape, and we want to rotate it 90 degrees so it stands up. You can bring it out and just get to the 90. You can also use the close to the shape tick marks to get to the 90. You can also move to a wackadoodle spot and then type 90 in the box to get the exact location. Let's add some wings really quick. Choose the all shapes and we need to go all the way out to page 13. There's an amazing wing called the swept NASA. Our rules say that our wing cannot be 300 millimeters. 
across. So I'm going to go to 140 because that's 140 plus 140 would be 280. It also says we cannot have a wing chord that's more than 75. So I'm going to type 60 right here. If we wanted to be real fancy, we could change all of these measurements, but I just want you to understand that 300 and the 75 that are our maximums at this point. We're going to take this wing and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees first. But then there is a magic thing called a dihedral angle that helps your plane fly better that you're going to learn about. It's somewhere between 15 and 14 degrees. So I'm going to turn this, see how these degrees are up top? I'm going to turn it to 14 degrees. And then I'm going to do duplicate. That's a magic button over here. And I'm going to flip it. See this sweet arrow? Boom. I've now got two wings that line up really nifty with each other, just like that. Let's grab those two wings. Notice I'm only selecting them. So I did a rectangle that did not touch the fuselage. And let's do a line, and we want to make sure they align up here. For this project, we're not going to worry about having them perfect in this direction. You can just go a couple clicks with your arrow keys, notice how they nudge, until you've got a good connection. Then take the two of them and group them. Or we want to attach them to the fuselage, so let's set the work plane on the fuselage. Let's click the wing and hit the letter D to drop it. And then we want to align it. I'm going to set my work plane back to the ground. Let's click align. Click on that fuselage. And then you want the middle button right here. Now our wing is on our fuselage. I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it to the location I'm choosing. We are not worrying about the center of gravity for this project. We are just building it so that later we can add some cool things. And we also wanted to know what the wing cord was and what the maximum lengths were for a wing. If yours is poking out just a little bit, let me show you this. If you do control down, you can sink it into your glider's fuselage so that it looks just a little more neat. The next piece we need to build is a stabilizer, a horizontal stabilizer. We're going to use the swept NASA again. It has a maximum length of 148, so we could go up into the 70s. I don't want to, though, because I think that looks too big. I'm going to use 48. In this direction, notice there's a little black handle. I'm going to zoom in so you can see this better. We can go as far as 50 in this direction. I'm going to stay in the 30s just because I think that looks nice for my horizontal stabilizer. To make it horizontal, we need to rotate it. Notice if I go out here, it's one degree at a time. If I stay close to the shape, it does those 22 and a half degree tick marks, and it's easier to get to the 90. We need two of these, so I'm going to hit duplicate. I could move it with the arrow keys, hit the mirror tool, and then flip it so that we've got an exact copy. When I've got my two together, I'm going to hold down shift and click the second one and group them. Notice it says two shapes. I can also turn so I can draw a rectangle that just touches the two shapes and group them. All right, let's line that cool little horizontal stabilizer up. I'm gonna quickly hit on this and fit view to zoom. I'm gonna grab the two shapes I care about and I'm gonna hit align. I wanna align with the fuselage and I want that middle choice. I also want the back choice of the fuselage. So when I look at that, that's lined up pretty good. Once again, control down lowers it in so it touches. Notice this tapers, so it wasn't quite where I wanted. So I'm going to just use the arrow keys to nudge it back to the exact spot that I want. The last part of this project is to add a vertical stabilizer. Once again, you can bring it out. The maximum length in this direction is 50. The maximum height in this direction is also 50. That's nice and easy to remember. You can make it however you want that fits those specifications. And then I'm going to line these two up. So check this out. Rectangle that touches just those two. That was pretty slick. If you have to aim your world so you can do that, notice I'm not touching the brown. I'm just touching those two. Then I can click a line, click on my horizontal stabilizer, and I want it to be in the middle. 
and I want it to be at the back. I also want it to be at the top. So I'm going to hit this button right here, or the bottom. And then fine tune it with your control up and your forward left and right until you've got it exactly where you want. I'm going to do control down to sink it in just a little bit. I can also adjust it a little if I want up in this location by just dragging those handles. Alrighty friends, so you have just quickly assembled a virtual glider that's a lot like the ones you are going to create when you're using your white box learning gliders 2.0. This should give you a much better understanding of words like the shark tooth, fuselage, the wing cord, the actual maximum length of your wings, also the sizes of your horizontal and vertical stabilizers. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.